Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for Pisces for March 30th through April 5th. Thank you for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. Just a reminder, these are general readings, so take what resonates and disregard the rest. And all the card information is listed below, so let's get started. We first have the Nine of Wands. The Major Arcana card, the Hierophant. The Nine of Coins. And your overall energy, Pisces, the King of Coins. Okay, now the first thing that's coming through Pisces is that you have success surrounding you this week. You are prepared, you're ready. Some of you are possibly changing your beliefs and how you look at things. And this week, you're really standing in your own power. You're taking charge, you're independent and self-sufficient. Okay, Pisces, let's take a closer look at each of your cards here. And you first have the Nine of Wands. And Pisces, you are one of several signs this week that have the Nine of Wands card in their reading. And understandably so. This is a card of being prepared and being on guard and being ready for the unexpected. This card is indicating that you're up against this week you just might think back to previous experiences you had when you were in the same situation and you are examining what you did then and if possibly that can be applied to right now. The Nine of Wands card is indicating that you do have strength in reserve Pisces and it is time now for you to stand your ground. The number nine energy of this card means you're near completion, you're nearly there, it's just a little bit longer. Okay, Pisces, let's take a look at your next card, which is the Major Arcana card, the Hierophant. Now, just a reminder that when the Major Arcana cards show up in a reading, there is significant change taking place, Pisces. The Hierophant card represents your beliefs, your religion, the traditions and education that you were brought up on. Now, one of two things is usually happening when this card shows up. It means that you will either go back to and reinforce your belief system as you are brought up on and seek comfort in those traditional beliefs, or you're going to seek out something new, something innovative. And some of you are definitely going to seek out a new form of spirituality for your life going forward. The Hierophant card is a very spiritual card, and you might ask yourself, are you making a decision based on what you believe you should do, or are you tuned into your higher calling? Possibly different from what you were raised on. Now, the number five energy of this card is one of complications and struggles and challenges. The number five energy likes to shake things up and break your old habits, and it will create a bit of a struggle if you're deciding to go down a new path in your life. Definitely not an easygoing energy. Now, taking a look at your next card, Pisces, you have the Nine of Coins, which is also known as the Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of standing in your own power. This is certainly standing on your own, being self-sufficient, having great independence, and having success with it all. And as we look at the card here, we see the woman holding her falcon, representing personal strength and control over one's natural and wilder instincts. So Pisces, this card is an indication that you acted with discipline and now you'll be able to reap the benefits of your actions. 
Now for other Pisces, this card showing up indicates to take charge of your own future. This is a time for self-reliance. And some of you might be craving more independence at this time. The number nine energy of this card represents a time for looking back over what you have done, Pisces, and feeling secure enough in your own achievements. And it's time to integrate those achievements into the complete vision for your future. Now your three card spread adds up to 23, which reduces to number five. And as I mentioned about the number five energy, as with your Hierophant card, this is a more complicated and challenging energy this week. The next card I want to talk to you about, Pisces, is your overall energy card for the entire reading. And you have the King of Coins, which is also known as the King of Pentacles. This kind of energy indicates high ambition and worldly success. Now, this card could be an individual that's currently in your life or soon will be. This is an earth sign, possibly Taurus, since the King of Coins is Taurus's card. But it could be a Capricorn or a Virgo as well. The King of Pentacles is usually a wealthy man. He is very careful with his money and doesn't mind spending it on life's luxuries. He is generous, but does consider what's in it for him. He is thoughtful, considerate, calm, and patient. He is a practical and careful business person. It's possible, Pisces, that this individual, I just saw our candle went out. This individual might be helping you out this week in a financial way. And with this card as your overall energy for this week, you shouldn't have to worry in regards to your financial security this week. Okay, we have a new tea light. My belief is that when the light goes out, it indicates a storm is coming. So wherever you're at in the world, that might be the case. Now, let's take a look and see which crystal your angels and guides have suggested for you this week, Pisces. Lapis lazuli, beautiful, beautiful crystal. So, your angels and guides have suggested the crystal lapis lazuli for you, in case some of you have been feeling stuck or stagnant. This crystal is being suggested by your angels and guides, to help you, since there is an indication that things around you are about to transform. There is a positive energy coming to you that will help you let go of anything in your past or present that has been holding you back. And as you dwell a little less on matters in your past, you will begin to feel this surge of new transformative energy. It is time now, Pisces, for you to focus upon your strengths, not your weaknesses. And you do have an incredible inner power, Pisces, that can get you through any hard times. Remember that you're not alone. Your angels and spirit guides are also with you, helping you. Try to stay positive and focused on your goals. And keep charging ahead with your hopes and dreams. Do not get distracted by other people's energies, opinions, or problems. Now, the crystal lapis lazuli is associated with your throat chakra. Its energy helps you to communicate clearly, and it is also associated with your third eye chakra, which helps you tune into your intuition. Carrying this crystal this week, Pisces, should result in your problems getting resolved. Now, I also pulled an Angel Answer Oracle card, Pisces, for you for this week. And you received, Meditation Brings Answers. Okay, Pisces, if you've been looking for answers, know that the solutions you seek can only be found by going within, through meditation or inner spiritual work. 
This is where I think you're changing up your beliefs here. That's what the Hierophant is about for most of you, Pisces. You've been trying to come up with intellectual answers to your concerns and it hasn't been successful. And Pisces, you're a very intuitive star sign. You can also gather insights from your dreams as your subconscious creates solutions for you that are not available to your waking mind. Now in review, Pisces, you have the Nine of Wands, which is indicating that you should take a stand. You're prepared, you're ready, you're expecting the unexpected. And the Major Arcana card, the Hierophant, is indicating that you might be changing your belief system. You're becoming more self-sufficient, self-reliant, and independent, and possibly coming into your own spiritually. Now, the Nine of Coins is indicating that you're now standing in your own power. You are disciplined and you are reaping the benefits of your past actions. And your overall energy here of the King of Coins is possibly an individual that will be helping you out financially this week. And your angels and guides have suggested lapis lazuli as the crystal for you to carry this week so that your communication and your intuition is at peak performance. Your angel answer card indicates that you will find the answers that you need this week through meditation. Tune into your higher self, Pisces, and ask for guidance from your angels and guides. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. To continue with the private reading, click on my website link below. Love, health, and abundance to my Pisces family.